Hey guys, this is Opeb. Here with Home, a unique horror adventure on playing on the Vita. They were selling it for five bucks, so I wanted to try out this spooky new game. Your game will be saved automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete Home in a single sitting. Wear headphones, turn off the lights. I'll be right back, I need to turn off the lights. Okay, lights are off now. I, I didn't have them on earlier because I was uh, spooked or anything. I was just. Uh, I don't like tripping over wires, but whatever. Here we go. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. That house. Where was I? What the hell? Sorry about that. There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. The desk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? No. Maybe it was better that I left the desk alone. I noticed that as I limped, I, that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic, but exhausted. Did I free it? Why not? A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in a damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. There were scribbles of all kinds on random scraps of paper, and notes about some kind of water tower. Did he mean the one by the old train yard? Let's check in this room. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo. Looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep making random choices. Seems like the best idea. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guess, it led to the kitchen. That switch in the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. Wait, how did I know the switch worked on that door? You yeah, know, whatever. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? I left it alone, but I couldn't think of another option.
There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I could only make out a few of the notes. Key card. Ocker. Last one, I promise. It didn't make much sense at the time. I remember to keep a lookout for a key card and locker. I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Oh, that's furniture. Then what's this? The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning or him. There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Treetops. Nothing else in here. Alright, I guess I'll go to that box now. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Oh yeah. <laughs> I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Oh, there's a dank smell. That means there's got to be dank memes down here. Uh, this is probably a quick scoper. Footprints in the dirt. Look like more than one kind, and a lot of traffic. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more and tried to find some kind of information. The guy upstairs must have done this, but what was his interest in the water tower? Some of the markings match the scribbles I saw on the bookshelf upstairs. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Mm, kind of want a quick scope. Let's do it. I tucked the small handgun in my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring, even though I hate guns. Guns are bad. Those boxes would have allowed me to climb up the ladder again, but I didn't want to go back up there, not with that body, all that blood. Oh, alright. I thought I was going to get the information, I guess not. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old, faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out, and Illa... Illegible notes were written besides them in the faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. He, if, e, he, u, r, af, ol, ro. None of it made any sense to me. <laughs> Why did I just read all that? That was silly. Some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wooden rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Rusted hooks, like the kind you'd find in a butcher, hung from the ceiling. They looked pitted and warm from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. It looked like a cage? It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. That place is getting worse all the time. I knew I had to keep moving. This 
Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing there? If I was scared before, I was terrified now. Why were there photos of our house there, in these clothes? Was that why I was there? I checked my back pocket and realized my wallet was missing. Did I come to that house, or did somebody bring me? Oh, bats. I thought it was that mouse I let out. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. I don't remember if I jumped down there or found another way. It looked to be a long way. Did I jump down? Maybe there was some other way to get down there without risking any more injury in my leg. Oh, you just walk across. <laughs> thought it was like a hole or something. Oh. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. I had the rope now. There must have been a use for it around somewhere. The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? I could hear a faint hum and the smell from before started to get worse. bunch of old newspapers. We'd pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out. Danger due to cave in. Well, I better go in. A little spooky. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? At least, I thought it, I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there? But it was so high up, that must have been a sore landing. There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of them. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Maybe I'll get to watch it later. I can hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? I slipped the knife in my boots since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all this? Why does it keep doing that? I'm really sorry about that. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? This will turn them all. Hopefully I don't blow myself up or something. to stop water from pumping. That makes sense.
The door was still locked. Okay. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which smelled disgusting. I knew I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. That's all I can think of, I think. Because so I already turned the pipes off, so there's no more water. And then, uh... Was there something up here? I did not want to keep digging through this mess. Alright. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Wait, oh, I didn't turn it already? Could have swore I turned it. This isn't making any sense. Door's locked. Number one is turned. Number two is not turned. Three, four. Okay, so we do two and then three, since the, those didn't go in the right order. <sighs> what? Yes. The valve was st oh, still active, did I turn it again? Yes. Still active, turn it again, yes, there. That explains it. I guess the number wasn't the number that the valve was, it was the number of times you had to turn it. But I turned number four like once though, that's weird. Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Hmm. There was a small metal key left floating in the small, uh, the shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? I pocketed the small key, but it was so odd shaped I had no idea what it might open. I don't know what that is. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was this facility? Door was locked. I could see a faint light within. Let's just get out of here then. Alright, I figured this is a good stopping point. See you guys on the next part. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.